Hey guys, Blacklight here. So, we're doing another setup video because it's it's been a while. Focus, please. It's been a little while. Oh, that is that was great focusing. Good job, phone. Um, it's been a little while and some things have changed, so that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, it's my it's my lovely chair that I'm having trouble getting in frame because I'm terrible at using a camera. My lovely chair I've had for a long time and it's amazing. I sit in it because it's a chair. Same headset. When I say a lot of things have changed, I really mean just like one thing, but it's I'm just gonna go over everything because why not? Same headset that I had before. Where's the I don't remember where it says the name of it. Um oh there it is. It's kinda small. The G thirty five from Logitech. I like it a lot. It's served me well. Um it's in the headset I've had for the longest amount of time without having any problems with it. Um like it's never had any audio problems, never had any physical breaking problems, so I'm very happy with it. Uh, it has a nice mute feature where if you just put the mic up like this, it automatically mutes itself. And um, you can see that little red light turns on when it's muted, so automatically mutes itself. It's hard with one hand. And if I bring it down, the light goes off. So that's really nice. It's it's nice for quickly having to mute your mic. You don't have to fish around for a button on the keyboard or on your headset. There actually is one on the headset too, but um, I prefer to just flip the mic up, and it's it's very convenient. Um, let's move on to things that I've already shown before, because, yeah. Here's my keyboard. It's the Logitech G110. I have a lot of Logitech stuff, just because I trust them. Their stuff uh, works well. I kind of like how they look. I mean, obviously, they're they're, they're kind of simplistic in a way. It's, I, I do like how the headset looks, but the keyboard and the mouse are pretty simple, but uh, I've never had any problems with them. They work great, and... It's just very reliable and very, and pretty pretty well priced too for gaming type equipment. So uh, I'm a big fan. It does have these macro keys, which I still have not figured out how to use. I've messed with it a lot, probably for several hours, and I still can't really get it to work. So I'll have to work on that later. Or look something up online. As it is, I don't really use macro keys for much, so I'm, I'm, it's not a huge rush for me. Um, my amazing mouse pad. Yeah, you're jealous. It has a lot of use. <laughs> It's pretty worn down. Um, mouse is the... This is actually different from the last time, I think. It's the M705. I like it because it has, you know, normal scrolling. You can hear the, you know, the little clicks. Or you can press this button and it's a free scroll. And that's it's nice for when you have huge... Like, you know, when you open up like some PDF that's supposed to be like an instructions manual and it's like 50 million pages long. It's like... Well, uh, I need to scroll, and I'm too lazy to move my mouse over that bar. You can just give it a quick flick, and it goes like all the way down to the bottom in like two seconds. So pretty nice. I like that mouse a lot. Um, here's my monitor, which is now hooked up my new computer, which I'll show in a sec. And it is okay. Thank you for. Oh. Let's see if this is too bright. That's no, fine. Um, here's my monitor. It's the. I don't, I don't doubt you can read this, honestly. Oh yeah, that's not happening. It's the uh, SyncMaster PX2370 uh, by Samsung, I believe. Yeah, Samsung. I actually really like the power button on it because it's, it's like a touch button and it's cool because it's like this thing. So I, like, I've just barely touched it there. It's not an actual button. It's like a touch sensor. Um, so, yeah, by the way, pretty awesome looking desktop if I do say so myself. Uh, animated desktop background and some cool stuff up in front. Got this nice little circle with a lot of things on it, and some nice controls and information on the side. We'll get that in a sec. Um, what else? It's a lamp. Very nice lamp. These are some pretty crappy speakers that I just use if, like, uh, someone else is in the room and I want to, like, watch a video or something, and, and or, you know, play a game, and it's like, hey, I want to hear it too, so I'll just unplug my headset and go to these speakers. Um, I don't listen to music on them, because... They suck. <laughs> uh, mostly just because they can't, like, they don't handle bass well. They just kind of crackle and stuff. But for playing games, it's pretty much always fine. Uh, but when I listen to music, I pretty much always use this or just headphones. Um, here's my laptop that I use to play games, record, and edit, and upload from. It's the Alienware M11X, which they don't sell anymore. It was the R3 version. Um, it, it served me well for a long time, still serving me well. I use it for quality control on my stream. As well for as well as I'm gonna use it for schoolwork, obviously. It's a laptop, and uh, playing games when I go to other places besides my house. So 
still very nice to have, still still in use. Um, and yeah, it's never had any problems with it either. Uh, for an 11 inch laptop, the performance I got out of it and the reliability I got out of it was absolutely insane. Um, it was kind of pricey, which knowing Alienware, yeah, that's kind of their thing, but hey, uh, never had a single complaint about it, so. What else? I guess, oh, no, we can do this. I also just bought a webcam, which I don't know the name of, let me, it's also Logitech, but a, uh, does it say it on there? It doesn't say. I don't think I have the box either. Well, well, darn, hold on. Is it on here somewhere? You'd think they'd put it on it, but maybe that's not their thing. Okay, well, I'll put that on screen right now. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's a 720p, 30 frames per second webcam. It was like $40. Not that bad. And now let's, let's get to, actually, you guys may remember, this thing used to be hooked up to the monitor. Uh, the keyboard and the mouse, but no longer. It is just a laptop at this point. As you can see, I can't like bring my mouse and bring it over to the other screen. If you can even see the mouse on the other one, because it's like flipping out, it doesn't work. Um, yeah, those two are no longer connected. Everything is now connected to this thing down here, which I'm going to bring out to the open because it's not focusing and it's dark down there. Yeah, it's too dark to even focus on that, so I'm going to bring it out and start recording again. Okay, I pulled it out a little bit, and let's do the front first. Um, the specs of this thing are on my channel if you want to go check it out. I might paste it onto the description of this video, I probably should actually do that. And, and you know, I'll do the laptop too, but you get the point. I'll put both of those. Um, just a DVD drive. don't have a Blu-ray drive. I might pick one of those up sometime in the future. Um, on the top we have, this connects to the speakers, that are up there, right there. Uh, this is to my headset, another USB to USB 3.0s, that's a microphone jack, power button, reset switch. Um, that's it for, actually, the controls, I wonder if we can look at the back, it might be kind of dark. Let's try anyway. Um... This is the webcam, this is the uh, keyboard, and actually the keyboard has this little chip in the back which goes to the mouse. Um, this is my Wi-Fi antenna, it just goes to right here, it's magnetized so I just have it clipped on, or er, uh, um, attached to this, the back of this fan which happens to be metal. HDMI cable which goes to the monitor, and then power cable at the bottom. And I guess I'll open it up, because why not? It's it's nice, it just has these, if you want to open up a side panel, it just has two thumb screws on the top and bottom. Very easy to take on and off. Panel comes right off. I don't have any lights for it yet, even though I did buy the window version for like $20 more, so I'm going to do that at some point, because otherwise there's no point to buy the windowed version. Okay. So, I didn't buy a CPU fan, I just used the one it came with, um, because I didn't, I ran out of money, pretty much is the only reason. Um, if I somehow run into an abundance of money in the future, which I seriously doubt, I'll, I'll buy a better CPU cooler, but I haven't had any problems yet. I've checked temperatures after playing, you know, playing games for several hours and rendering and stuff, and it's never reached anything which I would consider a problem, so I don't really have any problems. Plus, I'm not going to overclock it any time in the foreseeable future, which is the only reason I'd really need another CPU cooler, so we're good, I think. Um, so that's under the CPU's underneath this thing. Uh, RAM, 16 gigs, right there. Two two sticks of eight. Kind of hard to see from this angle, but yeah. <clears throat> and the back case came with. There's another fan right here that the case came with in the front. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I I brought up some dust when I pulled this thing out, and yeah, that's not fun. Um, what else? This is the graphics card. I, again, I'm not going to say the exact model and stuff, because I'll probably get some number or something wrong. It'll be in the description. Um, let's see if we can get a view from the what would be the top, if it would focus. Yeah, that's the other side of it. <clears throat> <coughs> so 
No, I'm really sorry about that. Anyways, that's a graphics card. Large. I don't have a. I don't have a. Uh, a sound card, because again, I ran out of money, and that was something that was optional in my mind. I might pick one of those up in the future. Um, power supply, right there. I missed tapping it because I'm looking at, at where my screen is and not actually where my hand is. Power supply obviously connects to everything. Uh, 750 watt. Right there is my 2 terabyte hard drive, which I keep all my videos and stuff and most games and whatnot, things that are large on there. Up here, this is the back of the DVD reader right there, and that is my um, uh, 120 gigabyte solid state drive, which I have the operating system on, so it turns on, my computer turns on, turns on in like 11 seconds. Pretty nice. I don't think I'm missing anything. I think that's it. Yeah. So, inside of case, very cool. Literally, it's not very hot in there, because lots of fans. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little look at my setup. Um, sorry if the camera work wasn't amazing. I did kind of have to be at arm's length and things so I could point at them and touch them and show them. So that is kind of difficult. I'll give you one quick look at the desktop before I go. Focus, please. Thank you. Yeah, pretty cool looking. I'm a fan. And, of course, I, you know, I do have actually the taskbar just hides off to the side. So there's that. Um, yeah, and that's, that's a weird natural soda that's really delicious, and it's pink, because suck it, that's why. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, see you guys next time, and bye, thanks for watching.